Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times again. Now today's sort of star is an animal that we see almost everywhere we go and we sometimes think they're dirty and we don't like them and they really don't really help us at all but it turns out that these winged creatures do actually have a lot more benefits to people than we think and of course the star is the pigeon so today's topic pigeons can detect cancer detect is they can see or they can sense that something is there they know it is there we can detect it so if we if our neighbor is cooking something and we smell it then we can detect it we know they're doing something by sensing it and cancer is a sickness that many people have and it kills people and it's a sickness where the cells in your body they keep multiplying and they don't stop multiplying and it becomes like a disease really so if you have this disease this pigeon can smell you and he can tell you you're sick or you're not sick right they have a super strong nose so scientists at the University of California Davis <coughs> sorry recently found out that Pigeons can identify cancer. They can know uh, if you have cancer, if you don't have cancer. The study was led by Professor Richard Levinson. Pigeons were taught to distinguish between microscope images of breast cancer cells and cells that are not cancerous. So they, were, they had a training session. They had pictures of cancer and they had real uh, cells of cancer and they were teaching them you know this is a picture this is a real picture uh, not real picture the scientists trained the pi pigeons to peck at one button if the image was malignant which means a medical condition that can become progressively worse or uh, the other if it was benign which means a harmless condition in the long run all right so here it is a, a cancer can be two things. It can be malignant, right here, or is it? Uh, do, do, do. Over here, malignant. It can be malignant or it can be benign, right here. Malignant means you have the disease. It's dangerous, it's sick, we have to take it out, right? It becomes worse. It gets more and more bad or worse. And benign, however, is when it's not dangerous. We can leave it there, it's safe. It just looks a little weird, but it's not cancer. So we have malignant and benign. And they train these pigeons. They look at these cells, and when they see malignant, they had to peck a button. They had to peck it. But if it was benign, not dangerous, the pigeons would just you know, stay still. So malignant, dangerous, they peck. Benign, safe, they would not peck. All right? The birds were rewarded with food when they pe pecked the button at correct, that correctly identified the images of cancer tissues. So again, when they picked the right one, the dangerous one, the malignant one, and they picked it, then they would get a reward, they would get a prize, they would get food. <clears throat> again, if they pecked the benign safe one, they got it wrong, so they would get no prize. After 15 days of training, the pigeons reached the level of nearly 85% accuracy. Accuracy means how close or how exact are you. So if you're you know, shooting a bow and arrow and you get it in the middle every time, you have high accuracy. But if your arrows are going everywhere, you're not hitting the target, you have low accuracy. Uh, in detecting cancer cells, <coughs> researchers do not think that pigeons can replace human experts. So we have human experts. We cannot take away the humans and only use pigeons, right? We can't replace them. We have to, I'm guessing, use it together. <clears throat> However, they said that pigeons apparently have the ability to distinguish, to know yes or no, right and wrong, between cancer cells and healthy cells. They know, oh, this is cancer. Oh, this is healthy. They can distinguish that. They added that pigeons may someday be used in helping researchers develop image-based cancer diagnostic tools. 
So cancer diagnostic tools. Diagnostic means testing, right? So they want to make tools that test if you have cancer. Let's say they take your blood, that's a diagnostic tool. They check your eye, that's a diagnostic tool. They're checking you and they're going, the pigeons will help make those tools better. We're going to study the pigeons, learn how they do it and make it into tools that we can use more reliably. Okay, we have three key questions here. A. According to the recent study, what did the scientists detect about pigeons? What did the scientists learn about the pigeons? Scientists at the University of California, Davis, recently found out that pigeons can blank cancer. So I'm going to give you a hint here that pigeons can ID cancer. They can know what cancer is. They see it and they say, oh, I know what that is. And that is identify. So again, identify means to know when you see it. Okay. B. How did the scientists train the pigeons in the recent study? The scientists trained the pigeons to peck at one button if the image was blank or at the other if it was benign. So cancer, again, it can be benign, meaning it's safe, it's not dangerous, or it can be the big M. And that word here is kind of hard to remember for the first time, but it's called malignant. Malignant is when a cell is, has cancer, right? It's sick. C. What did the researchers say about the uses of pigeons in the future? The researcher said that pigeons may someday be used in helping researchers develop or create or make imaging-based cancer blank tools. So imaging-based, it means picture using our eyes. And these tools, how are we, are we going to use these tools? Are we going to use these tools to fix cancer or to cure cancer? Well, no. We're going to use it a little before that to see if you have cancer or if you don't have cancer and to test something like that we say diagnostic <clears throat> so for example if you want to go to a very very special school then before you go into that school you have to take a test you have to take a <coughs> diagnostic test right a testing to see if you can get in or if you can't get in so this diagnostic tool is telling you if you have cancer or don't have cancer. Okay, we have three key review terms here. A. Pigeons were taught to blank between microscope images of breast cancer cells and cells that were not cancerous. So we have two pictures, ones that were malignant that were cancer cells and one that were benign or not cancer cells and they had to uh, not just guessing like this, but they had to actually know this is this and this is this. They had to know it each time and to know the difference between two things, it is distinguish. So for example, if you have a, a twins, right? Do you know what twins are when two brothers are look exactly the same? For many people, it's hard. We cannot distinguish, hey, are you this one or are you that brother? It's hard to tell, but probably their parents they can easily distinguish, oh, you're this, you're this guy and you're this guy. They, can, they know who it is, even though they look the same. They're identical twins, right? Uh, B, the birds were blank with food when they pecked at the button that correctly identified the images of cancer tissues. So this is their job. When they see cancer tissues, they have to peck a button. That's the right thing to do in the scientist's mind. So when they do the right thing, they have to give them a prize, sort of a uh, bounty, you can say, and it's when we reward them. Rewarding is when after you do a positive or good behavior or action, you're giving them a, a prize, you're giving them reinforcement. C. After 15 days of training, the pigeons reached the level of nearly 85% blank in detecting cancerous cells. So, 85%, we're talking about how many times did they get the answer right? Uh, how many times were they correct? How many times were they on the mark? And that word here is accuracy. 
So before I gave you the example before, if you're shooting a bow and arrow and you're getting it 100, 100, 100, 100, then that is 100% accuracy. That's high accuracy. You are accurate. But if you're shooting it and it just keeps going everywhere except here, it just keeps flying around, then that's low accuracy. So to review, distinguish, it means to know which is which, to know the difference between two things. This is A, this is B. Rewarded is when you do a good behavior, a good action, and you're giving them something they like. Let's say you reward with a treat or you reward with money. Accuracy is how close you are to your target. So if you want to, if you get everything right, then you have high accuracy. If you get many things wrong, you have low accuracy. All right? So next time you guys are out in the city and you see these pigeons, you know, don't be disgusted or turned off by them because they're actually amazing animals that can really maybe help you in the future. All right? So thank you for joining us for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.